Hello all. In this video, we will see about caries activity tests. Though it is an important question from public health dentistry, it is a long and somewhat dry topic. So in this video, we will see about it as quick and as simple as possible. So by definition, caries activity test measures the degree to which local environmental challenge favors the probability of occurrence of caries lesion. That is the extent to which these local environmental challenge that is it, it may be diet microorganisms and other factors which favors the probability of occurrence of the caries lesions so according to um, the science which has been proven till now though the caries is a multifactorial disease the role of bacteria is important so uh, depending on that many caries activity tests have been developed and ideal request sites according to Snyder for a caries activity test is it should be based on sound theoretical basis not an assumption but should have have a sound theoretical basis and it should maximum correlate with the clinical status the if if the test predicts the uh, patient to be highly susceptible to caries then the oral cavity should have a lot of caries and such that it should correlate with both the theoretical and practical aspect and the test should be accurate simple and inexpensive and also should take less time these are the factors given by snyder for an ideal test so what uh, what is the purpose of uh, carrying out a caries activity test with these tests you could identify high risk group of people or individuals and with that you could uh, advise personalized preventive measures for each patient and to check or monitor the effectiveness of the oral health education program carried out and it also acts as an index of success for the therapeutic measures taken it also ensures that low level caries activity is there before before ex uh, extensive restoration or orthodontic treatment uh, it is is uh, not a good idea to treat a patient orthodontically or do an extensive restoration when the patient is highly susceptible to caries so in such situation these tests play a major role and to see about certain tests in detail the test these are the tests which we will see in detail in these two lectures uh, lactobacillus colony count test snyder test alban test swab test and uh, for, with uh, streptococcus mutants count we have three tests dip slide method and screening test method we also have salivary buffer capacity test apart from the microorganisms these are the other factors which influence the caries activity salivary reductase test phosphatic calcium dissolution test and ora test so let us see about each test in detail the first test is lactobacillus colony count test in this test the principle is based on first you should take tomato pepton pepton agar plates which has a ph of 5.0 and in this pepton agar uh, we have to estimate the colonies of lactobacillus forms so estimates number of the acerogenic or aciduric bacteria in patient's saliva by counting the number of colonies appearing in this agar plate after inoculation with the saliva sample so the saliva sample is collected by this method patient is asked to, to chew paraffin before breakfast for 3 minutes after which 5 to 10 ml of saliva is collected it is diluted and it is inoculated in the agar plate it is incubated for 3 to 4 days at 37 degree celsius already we know the ph is 5.0 and uh, in this uh, condition the uh, amount of lactobacillus which forms will be equivalent to the amount of caries activity the patient may experience so you are counting the colonies of the lactobacillus using colony counter uh, in we have diluted the saliva sample so we have to multiply the dilution here also and it will give the lactobacillus count so depending on the lactobacillus uh, 0 to 1000 lactobacillus per ml will give you a little or no caries activity as a result 1000 to 5000 will give, uh, will uh, inter will be interpreted as slight Uh, caries activity 5000 to 10000 will be interpreted as moderate caries activity and greater than 10000 is interpreted as marked caries activity 1000 to 5000 5000 to 10000 and greater than 10000 little slight moderate and marked So as I said, you are inoculating saliva in a tomato pepton agar for three to four days at thirty-seven degrees Celsius, and the lactobacillus colonies are counted and interpreted like this. That is, it looks simple, but the disadvantage is the onset of the caries cannot be calculated with this test. 
and the other aciduric organisms are also prone to grow in this medium not only lactobacillus and the procedure is though it sounds simple it is really complex as you have to follow it for 3 to 4 days and uh, you have to multiply the dilution with the colony counts etc and it takes several days as i said and the counting is a tedious process as i said so moving on to the next test snyder test also known as the calorimetric snyder test snyder gave this test in 1951 whereas the previous test that is the lactobacillus colony count test was given by hadley in 1933 so according to snyder this this test works on this principle that is it measures the ability of the salivary microorganisms to form organic acids from a carbohydrate medium that is you are giving a carbohydrate medium to the salivary microorganisms saliva sample is mixed with this medium under test and you are adding a dye brom bromocrosol green which is an indicator dye uh, which turns from green to yellow when the ph changes from 5.4 to 3.8 that is acid is produced therefore the ph falls down it also measures other acidogenic and aciduric bacteria and the procedure of the snyder test is as follows saliva is collected using the same method we saw before and the snyder's glucose agar is melted and cooled at 50 degree celsius and it solidifies to 37 degree celsius and at which it is incubated with the saliva sample color change is compared to the control tube against white background after 24 hours if it turns into yellow then the activity is marked activity but it if it remains green you have to continue the test and again at 48 hours you are making a test and if it turns yellow it is definite caries activity but if it remains green you have to continue the test and at 72 hours if it turns into yellow the limited caries activity is interpreted and if it is green even at 72 hours then the patient is inactive to show any caries activity so you could see the color changes here and depending on the shades from which green to yellow it changes no a mild moderate significant uh, find uh, findings and interpretation is also made the advantage is that it is simple and decreased cost uh, when compared to other tests but the problem is the time is increased uh, because up to 72 hours you have to observe the sample and color change sometimes not clear and it is subjective acidogenic bacteria may not be in the plaque Uh, absence of acidogenic bacteria alone will not rule out the presence of caries activity right so this test has that particular disadvantage alban's test is similar to snyder test but the problem but the advantage here is the medium is softer therefore no need to melt and then solidify the medium uh, the softer medium will permit the diffusion of saliva and acids therefore simple sampler sample collection is also followed uh, 60 grams of snyder test agar is already placed in 1 liter of water it is boiled over low flame and then agar is distributed using 5 ml tube it is autoclaved for 15 minutes allowed to cool and store in a fridge you need not buy hard all these things but these are just for the information you should know right and after storing it in the fridge you can take whenever needed two tubes of alban medium is taken um, so uh, that is a patient is expect uh, asked to expectorate into the tube and the tube is incubated at 37 degree celsius for 4 days so the main point you have to remember it is alban's test is similar to snyder test and here the medium is softer medium therefore it permits diffusion of saliva and acids unlike in uh, snyder test you have to melt and solidify the medium and uh, regarding the preparation of the medium you can read it here and whenever it is need whenever the uh, medium is needed it is taken out and two tubes of alban uh, alban uh, medium is taken out and patient is asked to expectorate into it. it and it is uh, incubated for 37 degree celsius uh, for 4 days and to interpret alban's test you have to observe daily the samples for color change from bluish green to definite yellow ph of 5 which changes to ph of 4 so the scale for scoring depends on the depth in the medium color change that is uh, up to what depth the color has changed whether 1/2 or 3/4 it depends on that also so no color change means negative score beginning color change is a 1 plus 1 half color change is the double plus 3 fourth color change is the triple plus and total color change to yellow like this is a 4 plus so 
based on this you could also tell whether the, the you can compare previous tests like slower color change means improved activity and faster color changes worse caries activity and consecutive readings are identical means there is no change daily results are collected for a period of four day period and uh, readings negative for the entire incubation period means negative caries activity all other readings are considered as positive whether it is one plus or four plus it is positive the advantage of this Albans test it is simple, low cost. It is used for motivational purpose, diagnostic purpose. The motivational purpose, as I said here, you could compare with the previous Albans test. And the slower color change, faster color change could motivate the patient. If it is a slower color change and if the patient is having an improved result, it will definitely motivate the patient. And the disadvantage is more armamentarium is used and the color change is subjective. Especially if you have to note whether the color change is half the tube or uh, uh, one fourth of the tube, three quarters of the tube, uh, those things are su completely subjective. Media used for Albans and Snyder test, uh, Snyder test is the same media, but the consistency varies. Uh, it consists of bactopeptone, dextrose, sodium chloride, agar, and bromocresol green which is the indicator dye. Swap test is another test which is similar to the Snyder's test. So with this test we will finish this video. The swap test was given by Granger in 1965. The principle is same as, same as Snyder test no, the, but the advantage here is collection of saliva is avoided. No saliva is collected therefore it is valuable in very young children. Then how do they test it? The procedure is that buccal swab is used and it is incubated in medium for 48 hours. Color change is read by the color comparator or pH meter. So when the pH is less than 4.1, caries activity is marked. When the pH is greater than 4.6, caries is inactive for that particular patient. 4.2 to 4.4 pH is considered active and 4.5 to 4.6 is considered as slightly active. The advantage is that no saliva and as I said already, predicting caries in children is easier in this test. So we have seen uh, four tests actually. One is uh, lactobacillus test, uh, first test what we saw. The second one is Snyder test, colorimetric Snyder test. The th third one is Alban test, which is a variant of Snyder test. And the fourth one is the swab test, which is again a variant of the Snyder test. So with these four tests, we will finish this video. In the next part, we will see about the remaining tests. Thank you.